What's going on everybody? 915 Mang here doing good. Hope you guys are doing good as well. I've been pretty busy lately selling a bunch of frag packs, uh, Zoas, a couple of Stylos, uh, a few different things. And by doing this, this helped me reach my goal of getting a brand new smoker from the Home Depot. This is a professional char griller. I picked it up at Home Depot. Really nice grill. Uh, so expect to see some uh, peak uh, previews of uh, smoking ribs and things like that. I've been watching a lot of YouTube on kind of seeing how to get it down. And uh, it's going to be a great summer and uh, lots of good eats on this grill. Now with that said, my frag tank is looking a little light. Uh, I'm going to start growing things up and start cutting up, gluing, super gluing frags and all that good stuff in the 20. Um, and I was pretty surprised that I was able to uh, raise enough money for my charcoal smoker. And uh, I'm going to go back to growing some more Zoas. Um, some maintenance things on this tank. Uh, since I've got snails, the snails really did a great job at cleaning up a lot of the mess. The back of the glass of the tank is clean. The front, the egg crate, they cleaned it up. I still have, you know, a little bit of issue of uh, bubble algae. Even in the uh, main display, I have bubble algae, but I'm thinking about going ahead and get a, a you know, an emerald crab, and also manually removing uh, some of these uh, bubble algae on the these discs. It's not as bad as it used to be, but uh, if you neglect it, the stuff will come back and it'll cover up your zoas. It'll grow up on top of corals, and uh, it just doesn't give a darn. Um, I also cut out the zinnia. I had some of the zinnia and my 180 and I cut it out you know I like it but it grows too much and it covers up the good stuff this LED that I'm using is the uh, coral box LED um, I promised a setting on setting video on that and I'll go ahead and do that in a later video it'll just be specific towards the light and uh, everything else is growing out good these those right here started off with one head I put on the disc and uh, hopefully they grow out so I can uh, go ahead and frag them out some more. I'm not running any type of reactor right now. I do plan on getting a reactor. But the hang on back filter seems to be doing the trick. Um, I have a hang on back protein skimmer. And the crazy thing is I haven't done a water change on the system at all. The only thing I have been doing pretty regular is topping off the system with a uh, 5 gallon bucket full of RODI water. I did throw some calc wasser in there now, and I'm dosing uh, the the uh, Aquamax alkalinity and calcium with trace elements, the same exact stuff that I'm using in the uh, 180, but uh, a far less uh, dose. I threw some of this carbon pad on here, and the reason why is because I was getting salt spray all over the place, and uh, this seems to uh, have fixed that, guys. I'm going to go ahead and give an update on the 180 right now. What's up? It's really filling the auto top off using the MJ in there. I'm still dosing um, the Aquamax. It's pretty good stuff. And I'm using uh, Kalkwasser using an MJ. I've had some good growth out there with uh, the Chato. Not, you know, it's not too ridiculous. I'm only using a regular CFL bulb. You can see I have that cotton candy algae. And the reason why is because I leave this light on 24-7 now. Skimmer maintenance is usually on Sundays. Every other week or so I empty this. I just emptied this out uh, yesterday. And a little bag of carbon. See that I just finished topping off right here. I go, I'm doing about 10 gallons every week or so. And uh, pretty normal normal now um, my tank is doing good I'm getting I just want to show you these uh, some of the pallies that I, that I had picked up I'm growing some new heads now so that's pretty cool see the oh powder brown powder brown is doing way better last time he had a uh, ick all over the place he probably still has it I just probably can't see it but um, doing all right 
right now. I was feeding heavy, really, really heavy, really, really crazy. You see some of the corals right there starting to encrust on this plug. Um, right there on the zoas and stuff. Miami Hurricane and uh, Rastas. Rastas. Also, check out these scrambled eggs. I started off with that far one on the either in the middle or so. Now there's like little babies growing out on there. Let's see if I can zoom in, get it to focus. I really like the Tonga branch. And uh, I'm kind of thinking about changing up some of the scape right here. Right here, I'm thinking about doing some kind of shelf rock or something like that. The zoos are doing good. I want more. I'm looking at a couple places to order from later on. I got enough, I just need to, just want more. I, I just love the colors of Zoas, but there you can see my powder brown is doing okay. Way better than what he was. Probably still has ick, like I said, but it's not dead and actively eating and swimming all over the place. See my leather, some of the rocks. And uh, there we go. Let's do a side view right here. Of all the fish. So that's the good news. I haven't lost anything. Uh, I did do a couple of more fragging. Some of these yellows. I'm going to grow them out on these discs. And I even have them growing on the uh, floor right there. I wasn't able to get those ones up. Let's see. You can see that's the uh, mother colony right there. And they just spread and that's actually just fragged. Like I said, I fragged it all over the place. And then ended up pinning some in the uh, 20 gallon. These ones are looking pretty cool. I don't know the name of them, but they're awesome. Things are starting to grow. Fish, anthias are still doing good. They're hungry, they want to eat. They are doing good. I well, still want to add some new fish. What are you doing, dude? What are you doing? The other fish that I want to add are some uh, fire fish. Fire fish and I, of course I need to get a yellow tang. There it is. This thing's growing huge. It's pretty big actually. Stylo. These are cool. I was a little worried about the powder brown getting everybody else sick. I need to do some pump maintenance, clean it up. But for right now, I'm just gonna throw, clean up the grill, do some uh, meat for Mother's Day. That's about all the maintenance I'm about to do. And you can see, these are pretty cool. They're growing out a lot. Right there, candy apples, sunny D's. These pink ones are pretty cool. The blue tubs. See if I can get closer without the fish. And that's about it, guys. I'll leave you off right there, and uh, you guys have a good one.
and I'll catch you guys later.